Hello everyone and welcome back to Fulger Channel. And today's topic is nothing short of intense. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and give this video a thumbs up to stay updated on the latest developments. In a startling turn of events near the West Philippine Sea, a U.S. warship and the China Coast Guard engaged in a brutal clash. The tensions in this region have been simmering for a while, and this incident has only added fuel to the geopolitical fire. The incident occurred when a U.S. warship encountered the China Coast Guard in the disputed waters near the West Philippine Sea. The details are still emerging, but what we do know is that it was a forceful and intense confrontation. The West Philippine Sea has been a hotspot for territorial disputes, and this incident only adds to the complexities. On February 2, 1995, just over two years after the last American soldiers had left the Philippines, a Filipino Navy patrol boat found a newly built structure on stilts flying a Chinese flag on a submerged reef, some 240 kilometers, 149 miles, off the Philippine island of Palawan. The sailors had gone to Mischief Reef in the South China Sea after a Filipino fisherman reported being taken captive by Chinese soldiers in the area. Beijing, which claims nearly all of the South China Sea, dismissed the allegations and insisted that the octagonal structure on the reef, which was equipped with a satellite dish for communications with the Chinese mainland, was merely a shelter for its fishermen. Today, Mischief Reef is a fully-fledged Chinese military outpost with a 3,000-meter airfield runway, radar systems, and warehouses probably housing surface-to-air missile systems on land reclaimed from the sea. Chinese Navy and Coast Guard vessels patrol the area, harassing Filipino troops, including by using military-grade lasers and water cannon and blocking Filipino fishermen from the rich fishing grounds in the waterway by ramming their boats and seizing their catches. The reef, which is submerged at high tide and part of the Spratly Islands, is nearly 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles, from China's Hainan Island. Beijing has now fully militarized a total of three islands in the Spratlys, according to officials in the United States, and maintains seven military outposts in the area. Across the top military brass in the Philippines, the view is that China would not have taken over Mischief Reef had U.S. forces stayed in the country. The Chinese Coast Guard targeted Philippine vessels with water cannon blasts Sunday and rammed one of them, causing damage and endangering Filipino crew members off a disputed shoal in the South China Sea, just a day after similar hostilities at another contested shoal. Philippine officials said. The Philippines and its treaty ally, the United States, immediately condemned the latest confrontation near the Second Thomas Shoal, where two Philippine Navy-operated supply boats and two Philippine Coast Guard escort ships had sailed to deliver food and other supplies to Filipino forces in a long marooned Navy ship that serves as a territorial outpost. We condemn, once again, China's latest unprovoked acts of coercion and dangerous maneuvers against a legitimate and routine Philippine rotation and resupply mission to a Yumjin Shoal that has put the lives of our people at risk. A Philippine government task force that deals with the territorial disputes said in a statement, using the Filipino name for the shoal. The Chinese Coast Guard's high-pressure water cannon blasts disabled and severely damaged the engines of the Philippine supply boat m l Kilayan, which had to be towed back to the western Philippine province of Palawan, Philippine officials said, adding the action seriously endangered the lives of the crew. One of two Philippine Coast Guard escort ships, the BRP Cabra, sustained damage to its mast due to the water cannon blast. Another supply boat was rammed by a Chinese Coast Guard ship, but still managed to maneuver away and deliver supplies to Filipino Marines at Second Thomas Shoal, they said. It also claimed a Philippine vessel ignored warnings and in violation of international navigation regulations, made a sharp turn in an unprofessional and dangerous manner and intentionally collided with a Chinese Coast Guard ship, causing scratching. The responsibility lies entirely with the Philippine side. 
the Coast Guard said. Coast Guard spokesperson Gan Yu described China's actions as reasonable, legal, and professional, and said such operations would continue unabated. We sternly warn the Philippines to immediately cease its infringing actions and strictly control its provocations on the front line so as not to drop a stone on its own foot. Gan was quoted as saying on the Coast Guard's website, Japan's defeat in World War II ushered in an age of U.S. dominance in Asia. But China's growing military and economic might in recent decades has brought an end to that uncontested primacy. Under Xi, who took office in 2012 championing what he calls the Chinese dream of national rejuvenation, a vision to restore China's great power status, Beijing has invested heavily in modernizing its military. According to the International Institute for Strategic Studies, a London-based think tank, China has more than doubled its military spending over the past decade, with expenditure reaching $219 bin in 2022, although this is still less than a third of U.S. spending during the same year. China has embarked on a naval shipbuilding program that has put more vessels to sea between 2014 and 2018 than the total number of ships in the German, Indian, Spanish, and British navies combined. The People's Liberation Army PLA, has since also commissioned guided missile cruisers as well as nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. In June 2022, it launched its third aircraft carrier, the Fusion. The PLA's rocket force has also modernized its capabilities, including with the development of hypersonic missiles and anti-ship ballistic missiles. According to the U.S. military, the PLA also plans to accelerate the expansion of its nuclear arsenal to as many as 700 nuclear warheads by 2027 and at least 1,000 by 2030. The world is closely watching as global leaders react to this incident. From neighboring countries to international organizations, everyone has something to say. Stay tuned as we bring you the latest statements and analyses. That wraps up today's video. If you found this information valuable, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for joining us on Folger Channel, and we'll see you in the next video.